Now, I'm going to ask you very politely, calmly, and nicely to get out of bed! How's it going all? So this is Waterside Fishing Adventures, I'm Kyle and we're now off on another trip. Yeah! Coming through 
Roxham. Sun's really beaming out now. Expected to be busy down here, but not fishing here today. I could do, but I like to keep bringing variety to the channel and showing, yeah, lots of different spots, lots of new spots, some old spots. Just like to go all over the place, really. people fishing. Probably around 10, 15. All the boats and stuff around and about being hired out and people going on weekly trips and stuff like that. So the broads are alive again and everything's happening again. Need. 
how long it's going to be. Two minutes. It's going to be a loaf of bread through the self checkout straight back out again. So let's go. So I started a little bit of the journey done, grabbed some bread. So I sort of got myself a protein shake to keep me going. So let's get down to the river. Okay, so we're coming into the town where I'm going to fish. Literally just around the corner here. Some of you may have seen me fish here earlier on in the channel when I first started. Thought I'd come back here and have a go. See if my friendly fish is still about. I hope so. I hope someone, no one's caught me out. show you too.
pretty excited. Just had a look around to see you too. Oh, it's looking good. Water's slightly coloured, exactly what we need. Now we're going to get a rod set up. And we're going to drift some bread through under the bridge and through the middle and hopefully get a fish. Let's do it. Today, I've got the Drennan Power Carp Waggler, quite a decent rod, Shimano Aero HS Reel, 4 pound line, size 10 cameras and hook, and that's all we need really to start with anyway, we'll see if we can drift through, it's a bit windy so bear with me, but we'll see if we can drift through with the flow and hopefully we'll pick up a fish, let's see what we can do gonna get the mat and the net and stuff out of the car and get up on the bridge. Okay so all my gears ready. Got me net, big long net you need because it's a big old bridge. Took me mat down there, got it all nice and wet, ready to put a fish on. Fish care is the most important thing. We're going to get down there. We're going to run through the flow down there and we're hopefully going to get a bite. So let's get set up and get in the water. Okay, so I'm going to get some bread on and run up through. Let's see what happens. It'd be awesome if we can get a bite on the first cast. Hopefully, you're not hearing too much of the wind. It's very windy, as you can probably see. All right, nice chunk of bread on. Let's see if we can get a bite. So it'd be awesome if we can get one on the first chuck. You never know, do you? Done it before here before. Quite a few times actually, to be honest. So hopefully, this will be one of them times. Just putting the bread on, nice big chunk. make it stay on as well that's the only trouble you don't want it to sink what I'm going to try is I'll, I'll show you this is what we're going to go through with to start with see how we get on with that there might be some fish down in front of us instead of actually going right under the bridge so let's just see what's what and go from there really it's the best thing to do Here's some of breads semi floating, so that'll do for this cast. See if we can get a take really quickly. And on the next one, we'll go for more of a crust. It's hard to see a boat doing it, I guess that's the only trouble when you're on the bottom like that. I can feel a line in my hand just to see if it's been taken. Just pour it up to the surface so I can see roughly where it is. I can see it out there, but I can't get it to 
exactly for the flow like I want it to. Bear with me, just let me get my bearings and stuff and get sorted how I'd normally fish here. And so quite often I get a take just down in front of me, so this has gone right under the bridge. No take yet. We'll have a quick go down in the middle there, let it sink to the bottom. See if we can get a take down there. Sometimes a good spot. I might try over to my right as well. i just got to try and locate the fish to start with. They might not actually be up and under the bridge at the moment. Or in this pool even at all. It's hard to tell. That's what fishing's all about. You've got to come and have a go and see what's what. It's very clear actually from what I can see. You can see into the water quite a long way now, so. Might be hard work to get a bite down in front of us like that. Let's take that off and go for a bit of crust, I think. So we can actually see it going under the bridge. What I don't want to do is get a really good take and not hook up, that's the trouble. Sometimes you don't get many chances. Other times you get lots, it depends what sort of mood they're in. All right, so bait's in there trickling through. It's on the surface, hopefully you can see it. Really going to the area I wanted to go to, but we'll let it just go to wherever it wants to go. Let's see what's in the pool. It's very shallow down there, there's hardly any water, so I'm not expecting too many to be close in. piece of bread is going completely where I don't want it to go really to be honest. So let's try and redirect it. Probably come off but what are we hooked up to here then? Somewhere we've got caught in the reed weed down there. Line must have got caught in the wind a bit. And it's off. <laughs> so we don't want that hassle already. So let's try this again, let's get it down there in the main flow. See if we can actually get it to go down under the bridge. The wind's been a right pain to be honest. We should be able to get one to go that way surely. We normally can. Yep, I think it's going the way we need it to. Yep, certainly is. Alright, let's see if we can get a bite this cast. This will give us an idea of what's down there. a lot of line off a rail and let this run through. <laughs> Just got to be very careful of my line don't get all caught in the brambles and branches and stuff on the way round. Which is quite easily done. Catching the wind. No. Oh. <laughs> the 
the wind's get completely the wrong place. That's been a right pain. Really don't need it to be there. Just pushing all my line and everything into where I don't want it, basically. Right, so I've struggled along in the wind. I just can't get it right. Line's going up in the bushes and everything, so I'm going to have to climb down there. We're going to have to fish down there from in front of the bridge there. It's the only way to do it, I think. The wind is just being a right pain. So, I'll join you down there in a second. find a way down now where I can get back up again. That's the trouble. <laughs> oh. We need to get down here somewhere, but let's say we've got to be able to get back up. Right, so I've got to be as stealthy as I can, but get this spread to run through. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to be in on the first cast. If they're there, we should get a bite. see what happens. Come on fishies, be there for me. <laughs> I've no idea how I'm getting back up though over that barrier yet, but we'll work out when we pack up. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get a good point on the way through here. And be into a fish, but I can only do my best. It's quite clear. Can't see any fish in front of me. Oh, they're down there. I see them. I see them. Oh, they're there anyway, so that's good news. Right, we need to creep around now. Should have had that first cast really. Right, let's get some bait on again. This is how bad it is to bait up. The wind's just making everything fl oh, <laughs> fly everywhere. We should add a fish on then. That's good news though, they're there, so let's hopefully... Let's hopefully pick one up. Please. This time, then, hopefully. Come on, let's get it right this time. I weren't really ready that first cast, I weren't expecting that to get a bite that quickly. And they're right there, so let's see if we can hook up this cast. Come on. You can see the bread trundling through quite nicely. Something I need to come up and smash it. Big fish would be nice. But anything will be good to get off the mark and start getting a food. Nothing's happening yet, but the anticipation's crazy. <laughs> the thing about fishing like this is really exciting. All of a sudden, smash, big fish come up and grabs the bait off the surface. He says, oh, <laughs> the bread went down. I didn't realize I felt the tip of the rod go around then. Um, oh, that's, hopefully you saw that. There's some good fish under there. So they are there. We've just got to work out how to catch them. 
my bread's been a pain. It's breaking up and going down, which I don't want it to do really. I could fish statically, but I never have here. And I probably won't. I don't know, it depends how things go. We'll have to see how this keep going on. I'm hoping you can see all this action because it's good fun. I wouldn't think it'll be too long before I ever fish on. If I can get the tactics right. So the bread team, for some reason, it seems to be breaking up before it gets to the spot and sinking. I can see it. I can see it halfway down now. I think it's breaking up already. Why is it doing that? Normally I can float the bread through the top there, no problem whatsoever. They come smashing up and away we go, but. This is a bit more awkward because I can't tell when they've took it if it's sunk. Wind's whistling through under the bridge now as well, which doesn't make it easy. on that cast. Oh, he says. That will tug. It's the trouble one little tug or one little take and that's it, your your bait's gone and you're starting again. Very hard work, but like I say really exciting. Bread's a pain. I should have bought on even more expensive loaf to be honest just breaking up far too easily. I can't really think of a way of putting on better that don't do it, to be honest. Um, I'm going to try a piece of crust and see if that's any better. It's really soft. The hooks, yeah, it's not staying in it very long. So we actually get the fish. I normally use a size eight or a six here as well. Much bigger hook, but that's all I've got on me at the moment. Let's try again. Hopefully on this cast, we'll hook up. I could creep over to there, but I don't really want to go over there and scare the fish further, further away, if that makes sense. I want them a bit closer to me, if possible. Just makes the striker stuff better. Come on, fishies, where are you? So we're sitting rising, so we know for a fact they're there. It's now just a case to looking up to one. So I don't scare them down where we with me being here. I think I should get you know, a couple of chances at least. And having to just keep feeding out line. Don't know if you can see, but just down the river there is a big old herring. I'm completely lost sight of my bait now. The wind just covers it up completely. Definitely making it hard work. Normally, I 
really calm here. Bites off, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Oh, <laughs> it's making this really hard work. I normally got these down to a T, and I can normally catch them quite well, but this bait is, or this bread is just not staying on very well. Okay, so let's have another go. Come on, this time. First time lucky. Be cold. Them on the bank, I'm not going to get the point. Just going to put this over the bridge as I would normally. If I was up on the other side now, well out of the way, I'd be getting the other end of the bridge. I'm going to work with the right spot, just in case I get one to take.
Fish on, everyone. Fish on. Pointing fairly well. Whoa! <laughs> I take big lunges. Ooh, what have we got? Mr. Chubb. There you go, Mr. Chubb, look at that. Got some bits on him and stuff, but that's how he is. Lovely jubbly, nice to get a chub. Let's get him back in the water, shall we? Quickly spin him round. I don't want him out of water long. Lovely, not a bad start. Let's get it back in. Right then, let's have another go. See if we can get another one. We'll get something else. Pretty cool start, Mr. Chubb. One caught around my rod somewhere. deal with that if we can find it. Lost the bread, which is a pain. <laughs> That's the trouble with down here. I've still caught Remy Rod so I'm just sort that out. It was a fish in such a light line, there's no weight, no nothing. That's just the right pain. The line's just flying right the place in the wind. You can see how windy it is. making it hard work but we're doing our very best to keep a bait down there that's all we can do right you can see it going down and what I'm doing is letting it go Sort of three quarters of the length of the bridge. If I hold it back like so, that will come to the surface and give me an idea of where it is. Hopefully. He says. Oh, I see it, yeah, okay. So we're not far enough under yet. That's roughly far enough. I'll put the rod down. Keep it on the tip. Should go flying around, hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. And that's what happened last time. I'll try and watch the rod. Hopefully, we'll get a bite on camera.
Nice and fresh water. Right? Oh, this one's a good fish. Oh, snap me up. Oh, massive trout. You can see it on the surface, look. Massive trout. You can see it go whoosh right along the surface. Snap me up in seconds. That was a big fish. Oh, that is annoying. Oh, damn. I come up along the surface and fly on the top of the water and by the feel of my line I got snapped up by a rock. It's a pain, a four pound line on, don't really need much heavier than six maybe. But, oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> you saw me rod hoop around and that was flying down the river, but we didn't get that one. Cool, so we're watching the rod again. Hopefully it's going to go around again. But Then they wait for a boy. I'm gonna run some bread through and see if anything comes up. The birds seem to have moved off, which is good. The bridge going down, as you can see there. Let's see if anything comes flying up under the bridge, or just the other side of the bridge. Not 
So with that big fish we had on a while ago, it's going to have scared everything a little bit. Which is a shame, but... Bread's now entering the, the shadow part underneath the bridge there. You'll clearly see a fish come flying out of the water if, they, if something do take it. They take it really aggressively when they do take it under there. A lot of the time they come just clear out of the water. Nothing's come up yet. There's a couple of bits of bread now coming out the other side of the bridge. We'll look out the other side. We'll see a fair bit further down, see where them plants are. Not like that. Where the plants are. The bread will end up going down the side of them. Let's see if the fish will move down there. Well, I think that big fish is scared to swim. It's a bit of a pain, but I'm doing my best to get some bait back down there and pull some fish back in. But the daylight's fading fast on me, so I'll do my best and keep you updated on what's going on. So, uh, hours gone by now. I'm pretty sure I've scared the fish out of the swim pretty much. Which is a pain, really. Not really worth me moving down river now because it's going to be dark here. Yeah, you know, sort of 10 15 minutes. So I'm gonna stick it out on there, keep putting some bait out, and hopefully another fish will move in. So, just have another cast under here. Not gonna have too many more now. Can't seem to find the fish now. Definitely scared them off when I had that big one. Put it out there in the flow and then let the flow take it where it needs to go really if you cast it around you end up in snags and stuff it's better to let the flow do its job and take it through the middle of the river i sort of guess when that gets to 
roughly where you want it. It's hard to tell sometimes where you roughly are, but I like to guess that I'm in the spots I want to be in. And then we'll just lay it down here. Reel on the side, tip in the air. And I hope that's going to fly around. Fingers crossed this rod tip's gonna fly around. Come on, give us another fish. That big one definitely scared things off. Been trickling bread down through the swim for the last hour and a half now. And just can't seem to get anything happening now. There's a trouble here and once you spook them off too much, they just move off down the river. There's not many fish in this river anyway, there's only like a handful. <coughs> Excuse me. There's only like a handful of fish. And I literally mean like five or six that you regularly see. And then there's, in the summer and stuff, there's a load of dace and stuff like that. And the odd roach. But certainly in big numbers of fish in here. With the otters going up and down all the time, the numbers are probably getting less and less all the time. But that one I had on earlier on today was certainly a big fish. And hopefully at some point I'm going to get to land that. Might not be this season now because there's only a couple of days left of it. But I'll see what I can do. The trouble is it's like an hour and a half from where I live so it's not like I can just pop down here for two hours and just keep having a go. You know it's a fair drive there and back it's three hours. I would get her an hour into dark or so, but as you can see, I'm only in my t-shirt and tracksuit. I ain't got my suit and stuff with me today, so I'm not gonna sit here and shiver. <laughs> and I can just go out again tomorrow or another day. So what I'm gonna do for those last casts or so, I'm just gonna keep letting a bit of line out every now and again, so it bumps along and move. back in under the bridge under the cover of darkness but so I'm starting to shiver now it's pretty cold so I'm gonna wrap it up I think and continue it for another day I'll, I'll spend another sort of 10 15 minutes just watching the rod we see how we get on from there we'll get another fish I'll bring it to the camera obviously not to see you in the car.
so this is the fun bit got to climb up there now <laughs> it's a lot higher than what it actually looks <laughs> and the car is just over there So, back in the car. Ooh. So we had a chub, which was quite nice. And then we lost that big one. Can't believe it. Spoiled the whole session. That went, you, know, you saw my rod was bending right round. That went full high and down under the bridge. I could see it, the bow waves going through the surface of the water. The real pain that was. That was a really good fish. The whole back of the fish just literally come out of the water. You can see it's a really good fish. And then I got caught on a rock or something like that and the line was all jagged. Not good. So, spin you around and we'll do the drive out. I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers because I'm getting them on a daily basis like I normally do. So, hello, I'm Carl. Um, and yeah. A bit of a hard session but it was only a few hours so it would have been really good if we'd landed the big fish but wasn't to be this time that's going to be down there again for us to catch again another day so let's spin around and let's start doing the journey home Whew, right then